How to avoid plagiarism. Let's talk about this. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. How to avoid plagiarism. When you are writing a research article or you're writing thesis or a book, book chapter, whatever you're writing, if you plagiarize, you can be in serious trouble. Now, what is plagiarism? Plagiarism simply means, in easy language, it means copy pasting somebody else's words and not giving a reference now let's let's change it change this definition to make it more clear copy pasting somebody else's words period whether you give a citation or you don't give a citation copy pasting is plagiarism Forget about this when people say that, okay, I have copy pasted, but I have given a reference. Is it, re is it plagiarism? Yes, of course it is plagiarism. So plagiarism is copy pasting somebody else's words. So when you write an article, a book chapter, anything, make sure you write it in your own words. Now, of course, you are taking information from some papers, some book chapters, some books, some blogs, whatever you are using, whatever source you are using, Yes, you do definitely need some sources to write a paper. So yes, you do extract knowledge from other people's papers, but you always give a reference. You always give a reference and you write it in your own words. So yes, you have to be careful about two things. You always give a reference and you write it in your own words. So the simple formula is, I'll repeat it so many times so that you can remember. Whenever you're writing something, rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. Yes, rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. Repeat it again with me. Rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. If you rewrite in your own words somebody else's information but you don't give a reference, it's plagiarism again. Now, if you copy paste somebody else's lines and you forget to cite that's huge plagiarism of course that's also plagiarism so remember the bo the components both components must be there always write in your own words and always give a reference these two things are a must so how do you avoid it you learn to rephrase paraphrase get the message across in your own words and make sure nothing is copy pasted and you still give a reference. Now, what about the tables and figures? If you copy paste somebody else's figures and tables, is it plagiarism? Absolutely. Now, you copy paste somebody else's tables and figures and you give a reference, is it plagiarism? Absolutely. The only way you are allowed to use tables and figures is that if you have the written permission of the author or publisher or both if necessary you must have the permission and then you use the exact table and you still give a reference even after permission you still give a reference you use the same table or figure and another way is you get a ref you get a permission you give a reference but you modify the table or figure and you mention that modified or adopted from XYZ paper and you acknowledge them for giving you the permission. And we thank the authors for giving us the permission to use the modified version of the picture, of the real table. This is the way professionalism is done. This is the way you write articles. This is the way you become an author. That's it, that's it. That's how you do it and that's how you avoid it. So remember, plagiarism is copy pasting and not giving a reference or copy pasting and still giving a reference, that's also plagiarism. So the formula I told you, you have to remember always, rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. Rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. One more time, rewrite in your own words and always give a reference. And now the tables and figures, 
seek permission from the original author and then use his table or figure and still give a reference and acknowledge them and say thank you. This is how research articles should be written. That's called professional conduct. Remember, plagiarism is one of those crimes where intentions don't matter. Nobody will listen to you that, oh, I did not intend to plagiarize. My intentions were nice. My intentions were good. Nobody will listen to this excuse. So stop giving this excuse that I did not know what plagiarism is. So next time, when you ever write a paper, watch this video once again, revise it so you have memorized it forever and it becomes a part of your DNA that you always rewrite in your own words and you always give a reference and for tables and figures, seek permission and still give a reference. And if you modify the diagram or figure, still give a reference and acknowledge the main author. That's how you avoid plagiarism. Thank you. Before you leave, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.